Today we'll discuss about spino cerebellar tracts and various ascending tracts ending in the brain stem which include spino tactile tract spino reticular tract spino olivary tract and spino vestibular tract Let us start with spino cerebellar tracts Spino cerebellar tract carries subconscious proprioceptive signals they also carry some extraceptive sensations like touch and the receptors are present in the muscles and joints first order neurons for this tract they enter in the spinal cord through dorsal root ganglion that is through dorsal root of the spinal cord as we have discussed in other tracts peripheral processes of this neuron receive impulses from muscle spindle golgi tendon organ and other proprioceptive receptors as we have discussed dorsal root ganglion is pseudo unipolar neuron you can see here peripheral processes they carry impulses from muscle spindle golgi tendon organ and other proprioceptive receptors some fibers they are related to end organs and they are concerned with the extraceptive sensations like touch and pressure now second order neurons for this tract they arise from dorsal horn from lamina 5 6 and 7 you can see here from this lamina 5 6 and 7 second order neurons they arise now their axons they form spino cerebellar tracts here you can see there are mainly two spino cerebellar tracts ventral and dorsal spino cerebellar tracts and they ascend to cerebellum this tracts they do not have third order neurons to cerebral cortex and therefore they are concerned with subconscious kinesthetic sensation now let us start with ventral spino cerebellar tract it is also known as gower's tract this tract is located lateral periphery of lateral white funiculus of the spinal cord here it is located anterior to the dorsal spino cerebellar tract this is dorsal one and this is ventral so ventral is anterior to the dorsal spino cerebellar tract and it is located posterior to the ventral root this is the ventral root ventral nerve root and posterior to the ventral root we have ventral spino cerebellar tract first order neurons of this tracts they originate from the axons of dorsal root ganglion as we have discussed dorsal root ganglion is here and their axons they form the first order neurons this neurons they receive impulses from as we have discussed from muscle spindle golgi tendon organ and other proprioceptors some fibers of the tract they are also related to end organs and they are concerned with the extraceptive sensations like touch and pressure this tract they give their appearance in lower lumbar regions that is from l3 to l5 okay. situation extend and termination first order neuron that is in the dorsal root ganglion you can see here here in this diagram ventral spino cerebellar tract is depicted with green color you can trace the green color fibers okay so this first order neurons in the spinal cord they end around clark's column of cells lamina 7 on the same side you can see here this green color fibers they end here in the clark's column cell here okay from which second order neurons fibers they start so the second order neurons fibers they start from lamina 5 6 and 7 majority of second order neuron fibers they cross you can see here and they ascend up through spinal cord 
medulla oblongata, pons and midbrain. They extend up to the level of red nucleus, you can see here. And they reach the cerebellum through superior cerebellar peduncle. There are three cerebellar peduncles, superior, middle and inferior cerebellar peduncle. Superior peduncle is fiber that connects cerebellum to the midbrain. Middle connects cerebellum to the pons and inferior peduncle connects cerebellum to the medulla. So here it reaches up to superior cerebellar peduncle. Again it crosses and it ends in the cerebellar cortex. You can see here. Now, this fibers they terminate in the lower limb areas. Why? Because as we have discussed, the tract makes its appearance in the lower lumbar region, L3 to L5. So these fibers, they carry information from lower limb areas and they terminate in the lower limb areas in the anterior lobe of the cerebellar cortex. Now, functions of this tract. This tract carries subconscious kinesthetic sensation which is required for the regulation of body posture, balance and coordination of skilled movements. Effect of lesion. Because of lesion of this tract, there is loss of subconscious kinesthetic sensation. Next we discuss is dorsal spinocerebellar tract which is also known as Fletzing's tract. This tract is located again lateral periphery of the lateral white funiculus here. This is located posterior to ventral spinocerebellar tract. This is ventral and this is torsal. And it is located anterior to posterior nerve root. This is posterior nerve root and dorsal spinocerebellar tract is located anterior to posterior nerve root. Origin, as we have discussed, first order neurons, they arise from exon of dorsal root ganglion. Again, this dorsal root ganglion of dorsal spinocerebellar tract, they also receive impulses from muscle spindle, Golgi tendon organ and other proprioceptors. Same as ventral spinocerebellar tract. And some fibers, they are also related to end organs and therefore they are concerned with extraceptive sensations like touch and pressure. Now, how this differs from ventral spinocerebellar tract? This tract makes its appearance in C7 to T6 segments. Ventral spinocerebellar tract we have discussed makes its appearance in the lumbar segments L3 to L5. Here this tract makes its appearance in C7 to T6 segments. Now we discuss situation, extent and termination. First order neuron, they receive impulses afferent fibers from dorsal root ganglion as we have discussed here dorsal root ganglion this dorsal spinocerebellar tract is shown in the diagram with a violet color you can see along with green color another tract is there that is dorsal spinocerebellar tract now This tract they receive as we have discussed first order neurons they receive afferent fibers from muscle spindle, Golgi tendon organs and other proprioceptors. And in the spinal cord this dorsal root ganglion neurons they end in Clark's column cells lamina 7 on the same side. Second order neurons they start from lamina 7 and here important thing is fibers of this neurons are uncrossed so immediately they enter in the same side lateral white column and they ascend up. These fibers they ascend through spinal segments and they reach medulla oblongata and they reach to the cerebellum through inferior cerebellar peduncle. We have discussed three cerebellar peduncle. Superior connects cerebellum to the midbrain. 
middle connects cerebellum to the pons and inferior connects cerebellum to the medulla so this fibers they are sent only up to the medulla and through inferior cerebellar peduncle this fibers they enter and terminate in the cortex of the anterior lobe of the cerebellum now functions they are same here the tract carries subconscious kinesthetic sensation which is required for the regulation of body posture balance and coordination of skillful movements and what are the effects of lesion when there is lesion in this tract there is loss of subconscious kinesthetic sensation again this diagram shows both the tracks you can see here this one is ventral spino cerebellar tract okay this number 3 anterior spino cerebellar tract and number 1 is posterior spino cerebellar tract this is the pathway of the posterior spino cerebellar tract this one am i clear now we discuss some ascending tracts ending in the brain stem that is in midbrain pons and medulla and they are spino tactile tract you can see here this is spino tactile another spino reticular tract and third that is spino olivary tract and fourth one that is spino vestibular tract let us start with spino tactile tract this one okay. spino tactile tract it is the component of anterior spino thalamic tract it is located in the lateral side of the lateral white funiculus it is located anterior to lateral spino thalamic tract this is lateral spino thalamic tract anterior to it we have spino tactile tract this one and it is located behind anterior nerve root this is anterior nerve root behind that we have spino tactile tract origin first order neurons of the fibers of the spino tactile tract they arise from dorsal root ganglion as with other tracts the origin is same fibers of first order neurons they end in the chief sensory cells of the dorsal horn of the spinal cord you can see here this tracts they appear in upper lumbar segments now course of the tract after origin the fibers of the tract second order neurons now they cross they cross the midline and they passes through anterior white commissure and reaches to the lateral white funiculus of the opposite side you can see here and this fibers they ascend up and fibers of the tract they ascend with anterior spino thalamic tract and they end in the superior colliculus of the midbrain and therefore this tracts are known as spino tactile from spinal cord to the midbrain tactum functions fibers of this tract are concerned with spino visual reflexes next is spino reticular tract here is the location of spino reticular tract it is situated in the anterolateral white funiculus of the spinal cord and this tract fibers are also formed by second order neurons the fibers of this tract they originate from intermediolateral cell column lamina number 5 7 and 8 course after origin from lamina 5 7 and 8 some of the fibers of this tract are crossed and some of the fibers are uncrossed you can see here the fibers they ascend in the ventrolateral part of the spinal cord you can see here 
and they terminate in the reticular formation of midbrain pons and medulla function these tracts are concerned with arousing as well as they are concerned with the consciousness and alertness next is spino olivary tract fibers of this tract here you can see in the diagram this is spino olivary this one the fibers of this tract they are located in the antero lateral white folliculus of the spinal cord origin origin of the fibers of this tract that is non specific and the fibers of this tracts are also crossed one you can see here in the diagram these are the fibers of spino olivary tract and this fibers they terminate into the olivary nucleus in the medulla oblongata you can see here functions fibers of this tract they are also concerned with proprioception next is spino vestibular tract This tract fibers are also located in lateral white funiculus. They originate from spinal cord of all the segments and the fibers they terminate in lateral vestibular nucleus. You can see here this is the vestibular nucleus. And here the fibers of this tracts they terminate functions this tracts they are concerned with proprioception this is all about ascending sensory tracts ending in brain stem thank you